Hi, I'm Kurt, and welcome back to CompSign 5. We are finished with the math portion of CompSign 5. Wanted to give you a little introduction to the type of math that you'll be using later on in program analysis. And now we're back to data structures, baby, and coming at you fast is a stack. Fat stacks, baby, fat stacks. So a stack is actually very easy. We've already kind of learned the concept when we went over a linked list. And at the heart of a linked list and a stack is a node. Remember how cute nodes are and how great they are? Because you can put any type of data that you want in there, and they have a reference or a pointer to the next node. And when you string a bunch of nodes together, you create this linear structure called a linked list. And because each node has a reference to the next node, they're all linked together. And they can go on and on for as many data items as you need. So to explain a stack to begin with, I think it would be nice to start with a nice visual. So I have these boxes. We have box one, box two, box three, and box four. And if I were to tell anyone to stack these boxes, you have an intuitive feel of what that would be. If I say make a stack right here, it would go something like this. You'll stack the boxes on top of each other. It's still a linear structure. We've just changed it from horizontal to vertical. So we've gone from this right here to this. And this is huge. This is huge for a lot of reasons, primarily because we keep track of the top of the stack right here, this head. We call that the head. Think of that as the top of the stack. And the head is right here. So a stack has two operations, really. It has two functions, two methods that it employs. It has the push, and it has the pop. Push is adding a node to the top of the stack, whereas pop is removing a node from the top of the stack. Because we're only concerning ourselves with the top of the stack, we have to keep track of the head or the top of the stack. So let's just go through an example. So let's create a stack here, and let's say, let's push one on top of the stack. We push one on top of the stack, and there it is. Let's say we push two. There it is. Let's push three. Let's push four. Boom. Now, if we were to remove a node from the stack, it would be the pop operation. So if we say pop four, pop three, pop two, pop one, this is what we have. Now, just because these are labeled doesn't mean we have to go in order. Theoretically, we could say let's push four, let's push three, let's push one. All right, let's pop one. We don't want it. All right, let's grab two. Let's push it. All right, pop two again, pop three. This is the one we want. Let's pop four. I wonder what's inside. Just garbage. Just garbage. Okay, anyway. So now we know that a stack is a vertical representation of a linked list that uses nodes. A push is adding a node to the top of the stack, and popping it is removing it. So the biggest acronym to remember when concerning yourself with a stack is the fact that stacks are... Stacks are LIFO data structures. And what LIFO stands for is last in, first out. This can be seen when we did our, when we put them in an order. If we pushed them one, push two, push three, push four, the fourth box is the last item that we interacted with. Therefore, it is the first one out. So when we say pop, this is the last in, first out. When we say pop, now this is the last in, it's the first out. We say pop, now this was last, out, and finished. And stacks are LIFO data structures. Next week, we're going to be talking about cues. Can't wait to see you there.